introducing canvas in Gemini. So using this, you are able to prepare any draft writing. You ask the large language model of the chatbot, it's able to create that. You are able to change the length of the content it creates. You can suggest edits. You can ask it to build any application, like a simple chatbot or a simple game, and it should be able to create that. And you are able to preview directly from the user interface. That is really nice, such as games, apps, all in one place. This is similar to Canvas from Anthropic, and you can see exactly the same feature, such as selecting the specific area of the code and asking it to explain or modify. This is also available in ChatGPT Canvas, and this looks really nice. And it is available for free as well. So in this, I'm going to show you, and let's test this, if this is any better than OpenAI Canvas or Anthropic Canvas. So as a quick overview, it can write, iterate, preview React HTML code, draft, edit comprehensive documents, build interactive prototypes, games and visualization, and much more. You can go to gemini.google.com slash canvas to learn more about this. Now I'm in gemini.google.com and this is a free version. So with Gemini 2.0 Flash, you can use this Canvas feature completely for free. And if you want to use advanced models, you need to upgrade that. But for now, I'm going to use it for free. So here I can ask a task such as write an essay about AI and the future. After this, click Canvas and then click Enter. That will automatically open the Canvas for you. And you can see it's very fast as well. It quickly wrote this essay for me. And this looks really nice. So I can even select a portion and ask Gemini, expand this with points. And let's see how it's going to expand. And you can see right in front of our eyes, it expanded. Now I can ask, make it with tables and bullet points. And now you can see it's automatically converting that portion of the text into a table. And that is really nice. You are able to share this with others. You're able to copy the text, export to documents. You can format right from here. And you can also edit subheading. And I'm just selecting the text. I'm just saying heading two. You're able to undo. It's automatically saving the changes. And this is all really nice. Next, one more feature I want to show you is changing length. So currently it's normal. I can even increase that to long or longer. Let me try this. And now you can see it's automatically adding extra things and making it longer. I'm going to try to change the tone of it. So clicking on this icon, making it very formal and it changes that to very formal. And in the tone, you've got other options such as very casual, casual. I can even say that add emojis to this text and you can see it's automatically adding emojis in the text. And that is really nice. This is just to show you the possibility, but you can use this based on your requirement. Next, let's try creating a game. Create a Sky Invader game and it's writing the code for me. Make sure you select canvas before clicking enter. And here you got the code. It's writing me the HTML code. As of now, this supports only HTML and React for the interactivity. And the game generation is very fast as well. As you can see here, the code is ready. And now it's in the preview mode. That is brilliant. So how to play? Use left and right arrow keys to move your spaceship. So here is the game. Got it. And now we can see using left and right. This is really nice. Smooth. Game over. Restart. Let me try again. This is really cool. I was able to create this game just directly from Gemini chatbot. Game over. So you can click this share canvas, copy the link and able to share with your friends. So I can click the code. And even if I want any modification, such as changing the style, I can select like this and just say, make the color look modern. Let's see what it's going to prepare for us. So now the color is comparatively modern. One more thing is that you are able to view your console by clicking this icon here. And you can see the console here. That is your web console. That is really nice. So overall, I'm really impressed with this considering it's free and it provides similar feature compared to Anthropic and also OpenAI. I don't see much difference compared to other competitors. It's equally powerful. So do try and let me know which one you think is the best in the comments below. Considering you already like this canvas, I also created another video about OpenAI Canvas, which you might be interested in to compare this with OpenAI Canvas. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.